Wanda Maximoff, otherwise known as the Scarlet Witch, is not an SCP. But if it were, how would the SCP Foundation contain it? Hello, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and in this series we construct hypothetical containment procedures for non-SCP popular culture entities and objects. Let's begin. Looking at the comics as well as the WandaVision show, we see that Wanda is capable of massive feats of magic. Based on what we've compiled, we feel comfortable classifying her as what we call a reality bender. Reality benders can be some of the most dangerous types of anomalies. When you can reshape your reality to your whims, it's often very hard to justify not doing so, especially when most adversaries can simply be poofed out of existence. Thankfully, there are some tricks up our sleeve for handling this situation. The Scranton Reality Anchor is our favorite get out of jail free card for reality benders. These babies adjust the humes of an area to match the entity, causing them to be unable to reshape that area. It could be as simple as putting two or three of them around the containment cell, or if we wanted some comic book level drama, we could construct a spherical containment chamber lined with SRAs as a melodramatic prison worthy of a multiverse scale villain. Of course, there are also other tactics available to us. One of those would be to contain Maximoff near a reality sink. Reality sinks are essentially the opposite of reality benders. They act as a black hole for anomalous energies, depowering nearby anomalies simply by existing. As mentioned in SCP-5004, there are multiple reality sinks known to the Foundation, such as former President Donald Trump, as well as our own Dr. Clef. Of course, there is always a likelihood that we are in far, far over our heads here. Other reality-bending entities we've attempted to contain are SCP-343, who stays in his cell willingly because we are, quote, interesting. SCP-239, an eight-year-old girl who may have created Santa Claus and whom Dr. Clef has proposed plans to terminate. SCP-3999, who was decommissioned through sheer willpower by researcher James Talleran only after the entity had put Talleran through several millennia of ever-changing tortures. And SCP-3812, a man named Sam Howell, who died, came back to life, worked with the Foundation to control his powers, started displaying schizophrenia-like symptoms while wielding his powers in more and more erratic ways, and after numerous failed containment and neutralization attempts, seemingly ascended to a higher plane or something of a similar nature. Make sure to like and share this video, comment any creatures you would like to see containment procedures implemented for, and if you want to help us make bigger and better SCP projects, become a patron at the link in the description. Secure. Contain. Protect.